We're still blazing through the massive early access Steam success story that is Pal World, an open world survival game packed with creatures that are totally legally distinct from Pokemon. The point of Pal World is catching them all and one of the best ways to catch pals you can't access yet is through breeding. Breeding is another feature you'd find in Pokemon but Pal World ups the ante with a far more complex system that lets you mate any two pals together for exciting results. We've gone on far too long. Hey everyone, I'm Toast and I'm back to pal around with some Pal World. He has everything absolute beginners need to get started breeding in their base. It's actually a lot more wholesome than it sounds. Trust us. Before we start popping out baby pals, you'll want to get yourself an egg incubator. The egg incubator is required to hatch eggs, and breeding only produces eggs. Like Pokemon, eggs are the sole method for giving birth in this world, and the egg incubator is key for cracking open those eggs. Eggs of all sizes are found all over the game world way before you can actually breed, and plenty of players have asked us where to find egg incubators. The egg incubator technology is available to unlock at level 7. It's on the right side of the technology menu in the purple area. To unlock it, you'll need two ancient technology points. These are earned by defeating bosses marked on your map or by completing towers. Bosses are way easier. There's a level 11 chillet boss north of the grassy behemoth hills. It will reset after some time so you can defeat it twice. Heck, try catching the chillet whilst you're at it. We'll want it for crossbreeding later on. Once you've unlocked and crafted the egg incubator, you can place eggs in the machine. A countdown will appear and that's the timer until the egg hatches. Eggs have temperature preferences that can speed up incubation time, but eggs will always hatch. And later on, you'll likely want to build a second or even third egg incubator. You can then incubate multiple eggs at once. Now comes the tricky part. You can start breeding pals at level 19. That's when the breeding farm tech can be unlocked. The farm is large, so I recommend building on a large flat foundation surface. You can use wood or stone. A big flat surface also helps avoid any weird collision problems with your pals. Building the breeding camp is the easy part. Getting your pals to mate? Well, that's a little trickier. Here's the absolute basic steps for breeding. First, decide what pals you want to mate. Pals pass on useful traits to their child, so check your pals for gold passive skills in the pal box. You'll also need one male and one female pal, as you can only breed if you pair up males and females. I know that sounds obvious, but things are about to get strange. Place the pals you want to breed in your base through the pal box. Once assigned, pick up the female pal and throw them at the breeding camp. If it works correctly, you'll get a message stating that they're assigned to the camp. Do this for the male and female pals. Next, craft a cake and place it in the breeding camp container. We'll talk more about cakes later on. For now, just know that you need a male and a female pal. They need to be assigned to the camp and you need a cake in the camp container. You can check to see if everything is working by getting close to the two piles of hay. It will tell you if the correct piles are assigned and if you have enough cake for an egg. After that, you just need to wait for the egg to be produced. That can take a while, so I recommend running around and catching more piles in the meantime. Once the egg appears in the camp, grab it and place it in the egg incubator. Yes, you'll have to wait even longer for the egg to hatch. All of these steps slow down the process, but the biggest road bump is cooking up them cakes. Cakes are the real problem for early players that want to breed pals. Cakes are advanced cooking recipes that require the cooking pot technology that unlocks at level 17. The cooking pot will automatically have a cake recipe and it requires 5 ingredients. Let's go over all of them. First, you need flour. This is made by growing wheat and grinding it into flour in your base. The wheat plantation unlocks at level 15, so construct one and assign pals that have planting, watering and gathering skills. They'll automatically collect the wheat and deliver it to a nearby container. Next, you'll need to use the mill structure. This also unlocks at level 15 and is only used to convert wheat into flour. 
a sign of pal with the watering ability like Pen Gullet to be a dedicated flower crafter. Next, you need red berries. This is the easiest material. Red berries are literally everywhere and are the most common food source in the entire game. Like the wheat plantation, you'll unlock the berry plantation at level 5. Assign pals to take care of it and you'll be growing an infinite supply of berries in no time at all. Otherwise, just search fields for berries, they regrow daily. Next, we need milk and eggs. The fastest way to get milk and eggs is to buy them from the small settlement vendor. The small settlement is located at 72 by minus 489 on the map and it's just west of the Plateau of Beginnings, the starting area. While milk can be annoying to get, eggs are a little easier. You can get those for free by throwing Chicky Pea Pals into a ranch. Assign multiple and you'll be swimming in eggs. I still recommend buying milk though. And finally you need honey, which is the hardest thing to get. Your best bet is hunting down Bee Guard Pals or catching them. They're located on the island to the north of the starting area near the Goblin's Turf and Snowy Mountain Fork fast travel points. I typically find two at the Snowy Mountain Fork Eagle statue and they spawn right next to that statue. They're usually about level 21 or level 24 and they're supremely annoying to catch. Bee guards use a self-destruct attack ability so you will need to stun them with a stun baton or just deal enough damage that you can catch one. Rarely you'll encounter a bee guard that doesn't have this attack and won't use it. If they do self-destruct, you can at least collect the honey anyway. If you are able to catch one, assign it to a ranch for an infinite supply of honey. Next, we need to craft the cake. The cake takes a ridiculously long time to craft in the early game. To make your life easier, assign pals with the kindling ability to cook the cake for you. Later in the game, you'll get upgraded kitchens that you can use to speed things up, but that won't be until the high level 40s. For now, you are stuck with slow cooking. You can always craft additional cook pots and assign multiple kindling pals if you want to make it a little bit faster. And with the cakes out of the way, we can talk about the fun stuff. Here's our favourite early crossbreed. Unlike Pokemon in Pal World, you can mix and match any pals. Any two species can breed and produce a special pal, and often you'll get rare pals you can't get until much later on in the game. That's absolutely the case here. If you're a big base builder and you want to put pals to work, here's a really good level 3 handiwork pal that you can aim for. Firstly, catch the Alpha Chillet north of the Grassy Hills Behemoth fast travel statue. Then get a Nox. You can easily crossbreed one with a Rush Ore and a Daydream, two common early game pals. Breed the Alpha Chillet and the Nox to get a Lunaris. Lunaris has level 3 handiwork, making this pal one of the best workers you can get right away. It's also strong in general and very easy to get, so we are a big fan of this one. You can also get a Verdash with this same combo, and Verdash is even better. Verdash has handiwork level 3, planting level 2, lumbering level 2, transporting level 2, and gathering level 3. That's a very versatile pal for your base. 
There are hundreds of unique crossbreed combinations that you can experiment with and we haven't even started talking about skill inheritance or other passed down traits. If you want to make the ultimate pal, you'll need to breed the best of the best, but this guide is just intended to get you started. Thanks for joining us on another Pal World video and look forward to more this month. If you thought this was helpful, like the video, drop a comment or subscribe for more videos every week. I'll still be here waiting for my cakes to finish baking.